is replacing our door catch latch catch catch latch. Oh. <laughs> Depending on which website you look at. Um, our other was pretty rusty. He's also been working on some replacing some rivets down here that were just missing. And uh, he's having fun out here. husband is working on the screen underneath the refrigerator and he's trying to attach it and he wounded himself but he'll be all right but uh anyway so that's what we're working on today so he's drilling holes to pop rivet that screen into place underneath using eighth inch by eighth inch aluminum rivet yep pop rivet yep take care of some couple of more holes one thing you'll discover about airstreams is that sooner or later you're going to have to replace rivets and so we, we bought our airstream i did some research and i went to amazon and bought these bay fastening systems they're very inexpensive a nice little package of them and they have what no, are known as shavable heads on them they are about so i bought a set of these rivets and they are very, very handy. You'll find out they're very handy. But we found out that our Airstream, when we got it, was missing these three rivets. And so you just simply use a rivet gun, simple rivet, pop rivet gun, put them in. And if you want to, you can invest in a $300 head shaver that attaches to a drill. But I decided not to go that way. Other people have rented them. But you simply take, I just take a regular file that I had in my garage and simply work at filing them down. As you can tell, I haven't filed them all the way down to where I want them, but I will continue to keep working on it until I get them to the shape that I would like. Technically, with a file, you're only supposed to go one way. You can see I'm going back and forth. That's not the proper way to do it. Yeah, another thing you can do, and I haven't tried it yet, is get a simple Dremel tool with a file on it, and you could also do that as well, but I haven't tried that yet. But with an Airstream, once again, this is a very simple procedure. It's something you'll have to do. You'll be drilling old ones out and putting new ones in. Thank you for watching our videos. Please subscribe. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And also, if you think this is interesting and you have friends out there be interested in it, please share. We hope to see you next time. Thank you again.